great strides in the decades since the AIDS epidemic began. There's still plenty of work to be done to better protect against HIV and AIDS. And now the first new HIV prevention product for women is on the horizon. Here's health editor Dr. Maria Simbra. Biology major and aspiring anesthesiologist Lauren Brick is excited about helping young girls everywhere protect themselves against HIV by taking part in a study. And I do want to join the Peace Corps one day, so I thought what a good way to start by helping girls in Africa. Because of this clinical trial involving 20 girls ages 15 to 17 from the Pittsburgh area and nearly 100 from across the country, this device, a vaginal ring, is moving forward for girls worldwide. We wanted to study how safe and acceptable it was in across the world. Teens are actually the population that's at greatest risk of acquiring HIV. Similar to rings on the market now for birth control and for hormone replacement therapy, this ring doesn't contain hormones, but a medicine called depivirine that keeps the virus from making copies of itself. It was sort of empowering. It was their ring for them to use to, to protect themselves. It sits just under the cervix or the opening of the womb where it releases its medicine. It stays in for a month and then it's replaced. Doctors can check how much medicine is left in the ring once it's removed. That tells them how consistently it was used. In two studies looking at more than 4,000 adult women in Africa, the depivirine ring was safe and effective. When used correctly, it prevented HIV in three out of four women. The researchers' goal now is to extend the labeling to a younger age group, which can be a challenge. You need a willing teen and consenting parents. came down to finding just the right teen who was interested in a global problem like HIV and who had the time and commitment to uh, dedicate to the study. The six-month-long study requires monthly visits. In the process, the girls get more than just checkups. They were exposed to health care. They were exposed to research. They developed a relationship with an, an adult outside of their their immediate community who they could trust. You know, most teens get their information from friends or from the internet, and so to have a reliable health care source, I think, was a relief <laughs> for some parents. Similar studies are now planned in Africa, led by UPMC's Dr. Sharon Hillier. The work we do here actually touches lives all over the world. FDA approval, however, may still be years away. This would be the first new product for women for prevention of HIV. In the meantime, more trials of rings with greater capabilities will be available right here in Pittsburgh. Long term, what would be great would be to have a vaginal ring that a woman could use without her partner knowing, that she could control, that would have both an anti-HIV medicine and a contraception. I really like doing the studies. If it's to help women, like I'm all for it. Even if like the study didn't work, I still would have felt like, well, at least I tried, you know, to make a difference. I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA TV News.